Hi guys, this is Chemistry with Kat. Today we are learning how to go from molecules to moles. Now this normally isn't a standalone question. Maybe in high school you'll get it as a standalone question. But the more advanced you get in chemistry, you won't just be asked to convert molecules to moles. However, this is so important because this is often the first step of more complicated problems. Anytime we have a chemical equation, we have to calculate moles. And sometimes we can do that with the mass and molar mass formula, but sometimes they don't give us the mass. Instead, they give us molecules. So it's important to know how to do this. Let's get into it. The equation we use when trying to equate moles to molecules or atoms, ions, other particles, is this one number of molecules equals the moles times Avogadro's number. If we're looking for moles, all we have to do is rearrange the equation. Moles equals number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. So easy. So our first question reads, determine the number of moles of a sample of glucose that contains 2.58 times 10 to the power of 21 molecules. This is simple. All we have to do is plug it in. Moles equals number of molecules, 2.58 times 10 to the 21, divided by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 mole to the negative 1. That equals 0.00429 moles. If you notice, I have three significant figures here because there's three significant figures in the question. If you need a review on significant figures, I'll link the video here. Our next question reads, the sample of C5H8 has 4.95 times 10 to the 24 hydrogen atoms. How many moles of C5H8 are in the sample? Now this is a tricky question because we're looking for moles of a molecule and we're only given the number of atoms. We're not given the number of molecules. So that original equation of moles equals number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number can't be used yet. We first have to find the number of molecules. So we're given the hydrogen atoms and according to the molecular formula, there are eight hydrogen atoms per molecule. So, to find the number of molecules in the sample, we will take 4.95 times 10 to the 24 atoms divided by 8 atoms per molecule. And you can tell just by the units that molecule will end up our units. The atoms will cancel each other out. That leaves us with 6.19 times 10 to the 23 molecules in the sample. Now we can take this number and use it to find the moles. Moles equals number of molecules, 6.19 times 10 to the 23, divided by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 moles to the negative one. That equals 1.03 moles. And there you go. Remember, I have three significant figures here because there's three significant figures in the question. Now you know the basics of converting molecules to moles. For homework, I have a pretty tough question. How many moles of carbon atoms are in 3.2 moles of C2H6O? Try to solve it on your own and then go to my Instagram to find the answer. I'll give you some hints. They're looking for the moles of atoms, but they give you the moles of molecules. So first, find how many molecules, then find how many atoms, and then convert that to moles. Good luck, and see you next time. I really hope that you guys are loving this channel and loving learning about chemistry. I'm here to help you anytime you need. Please like this video if it helped you, and subscribe to my channel.